Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at the situation on the Ukrainian front. Day 730. In the Bakhmut sector, Ukrainian defense forces repelled six enemy attacks near Ivanivska, Donetsk region, where the enemy was trying to improve its tactical position. One such assault was captured on camera by a Ukrainian drone. Two Russian armored personnel carriers are heading toward Ukrainian positions. But the Ukrainians waste no time in launching kamikaze drones that first damage the armored personnel carriers and then cause a fire that completely renders them useless. In the Kherson sector, the enemy does not abandon its intention to drive Ukrainian units from their footholds on the left bank of the Dnepro River. Thus, seven attempts to storm Ukrainian positions were made during the day. However, tanks and armored personnel carriers are not as often used in this section of the front as artillery and artillery systems, because the two sides are separated by the Dnepro River, and small tactical infantry groups usually take part in the fighting on the bridgeheads created by the Ukrainians. In this particular video, a Ukrainian drone spotted Russian Tor M1 and Strela 10 systems during reconnaissance and transmitted the information to the headquarters. Subsequently, the first SAM was destroyed with the help of Himmers, and the second managed to escape from the battlefield. After a while, the Ukrainians tracked down the second one and destroyed it as well. A few hours ago, it became known that the armed forces of Ukraine successfully shot down a Russian A-50 long-range radar detection aircraft. The A-50 is an aircraft that can be used to detect and track air and surface targets, alert command posts of the armed forces about the air and surface situation, be used to control fighter and strike aircraft when they are directed at air, land, and sea targets, and serve as an air command post. A few hours later, the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, Mykola Oleschuk, confirmed the successful completion of the operation on Telegram. The incident occurred in the area between the Russian cities of Yeysk and Krasnodar, and videos of the plane's crash began to appear on social media. Dima! Dima! А куда он упадет, блядь? Оу, ни хера себе. В кань. За несколько... Не, не в кань. Туда, на лиманы. Прикинь, за ним несколько шло ракет, получается. Он Одну вот там попала, а вторая вот попала в самолет. Вот с 
трассу. Подожди, а что это гудит? Это, гу... это, 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 это поезд, поезд. Это где-то оно пойдет у нас, прикинь? Не у нас, там, Конечно, на Лиман. Да, это тоже в новой деревне опять. Дальше. А, дальше. О, да. волна дошла. Это звуковая волна. Ну, да. Звук дошел. Надеюсь, дрон. In general, such an aircraft without modifications costs about $400 million. According to open sources, Russia had three A-50 aircraft in service, two of which were destroyed, and six A-50U aircraft. At the moment, Russian publics claim to have downed two objects, but only the A-50 is known to have been downed. Меня выгоняют, ну, кажу, я, я репортер, кажу, бо вы получите пизды. Вот все, горит, боекомплект взрывается, короче, все нормально. Трупы плавают, все. Да, хлопцы, не падайте. Да я понимаю, что скользко, ну, блядь. Вот, Николай, стою прям, трупы плавают, вся хуйня. В ногу что-то мне уебало. Не пойму, что, не, не знаю. Вот оно. Also, it has just been reported that a Russian Su-34 fighter jet has gone down.